Hi everyone, it's Lisa from Girl in the Garage. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Froggy Friday. So tonight, I'm sure you know what I'm doing. Wish you would have read my title. Would you like to see our dragon? So one of my viewers actually asked me if I could put a dragon in a frog. So I can't remember her name, but I'll find it and I'll pop it on the screen. So thank you. You know who you are. <laughs> And I loved your suggestion. I'm sorry I can't remember your name, but I'll find you. <laughs> so thanks very much. And anyone else got any other suggestions? By all means, let me know. So, are you ready? Here's our little dragon. Isn't he just so adorable? So this is actually a car sticker. And he's sort of got white outline. So I'm going to have to take the backing off, which can make it fiddly, but we'll just have to deal with that. So he's just going to curl around, go in our frog. And I've also just put a, like a slit in his wings. Sometimes they just don't sit right. So you can always cut wherever you can. Like, you know, you might need to cut up the leg a bit. As long as you don't cut it off um, and it's still joined, it just makes it a bit more pliable. So this decal, it's quite um, thick, but yeah, really good quality. I got them off eBay. They actually come in a set of two, so I've got two the same. And um, yeah, I just think he's absolutely adorable. So the plan is, I'm going to pop him in with some clear resin, but I sort of want to go have him so that he's sort of got a white, like white around him, and then I'll probably do clear and work out what we're going to do in the, the toes. And the fingers so I've done my eyes and for anyone that hasn't done eyes you just basically pop some UV in your eye sockets and then you get your glass eyes pop them in set them beforehand now you can always do it after because back in the day when I started resin no one was doing glass eyes so you know you just drew them on and then Glass eyes came out and everyone was doing glass eyes and they just look awesome. Heaps better than coloured bin. You can also get stickers. Just it's your preference, whatever you want to do. So a lot of my older frogs that I've made didn't have eyes. It's like, I've got to be able to put these glass eyes in. So you can, you can do it afterwards. So all you have to do is in your cured piece, and I haven't got one handy. I'll just grab this guy. So just pretend the eyes are not there. I've got a tutorial, so I'll link that too. But yeah, basically you just want to file that down. So you can use a Dremel nail file, a bit of sandpaper. Just try not to scratch the rest of the face. And you get that eye socket down flat to the face. UV your eye in and then just clear around it. Sometimes you've got to go around a few times, but you can get there. Now this one I did, was one of my first ones, so it's not real good. And the eyes are a bit small and I didn't flatten them out but so his eyes have been added afterwards so it's not too bad but I should have gone flatter but I think I wasn't using my Dremel and my nail file and or my blade and it just takes takes longer so you want to get the lumpy bit sort of off more flatten it to its face more pop your eyes in and then sort of work work around so you get a nice dome. But yeah. So I've got my eyes out because people always ask, what do you use? So now this is just going off my measurements. So I've measured them. So these ones where the line is, so you've got your 10, 8, 6 and 4 millimetre. They're the ones I use for my frogs. I've used all that size. And you can use your, your round or your, your slits. Um, in, in the pictures I've seen on Google, frogs can have round. They can have slits going that way. They can also have slits going the other way. And they, they've got also a different type of pupil as well, sort of like one with both. I don't know whether to believe Google. You know what they say about Google. But anywho, um, yeah. In these measurements, that's just measuring straight across. 
and this is just rough so I'm not I'm not an expert by all means but I'm just 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 showing you as an example and I'm sure like I have bought say eight millimeter and they've come in this size yet they measure 10 mil millimeters so just to confuse everyone so to me you're pretty safe if you get anything between 10 and 4 and just hope yeah you get the right size but as I said I've used all these tonight I'm using well it says 10 millimeter but I actually thought they referred to these as eight millimeters and that's what I've been telling everyone oh eight millimeter or six millimeter and then you know that's two millimeters off the actual measurement so I don't know just get there's all different sizes and there's all different molds coming out so surely you'll find something if it's the wrong size just just get one of every size of these and um yeah there's plenty of molds you can stick all the different sizes in and um yeah or do something else with them i mean they're, they're cheap as chips so yeah they're the eyes but yeah they come in a wide variety of sizes colors pupils whatever floats your boat all right enough of all that so our eyes are in and now we're going to do our little dragon so i'm just going to pop a little bit of resin in too much just going to give it a bit of a roll so hopefully my sticker will sort of stick And I want sort of a little bit of a layer in there because we'll have to plug in and make him a light, of course. So I'm just going to pop you on hold and I'm going to go and pull off some of my sticker and then I'm going to come back and start putting it in. Probably have to take off one of my gloves. We'll see. No doubt it'll be a bit fiddly, but hey, you get that. All right, see you soon. Oh, I'm back. That was a bit of a mission. So I forgot. This is a car window decal. So you've got three layers. So you've got your plastic layer on the front, which is actually textured. And so I started pulling that off, and then he's just all shiny. It's like, no, no, I like that texture. So I've started to put it back on, and I've got a couple of little air bubbles, but hopefully you won't see that. So I've trimmed him up taken half his sticker off just made a little tab try and make it easier because I know he's going to want to stick to my gloves and everything else and um, so he was bending nicely before so I'm going to have to take off the other glove lucky this resin it doesn't affect me so I have put it on my skin before um, it's quite good it's um it's supposed to be, you know, non-toxic and all that. But you never, never know. But some of the other resins I've used, they say that, you know, they're all wonderful and non-toxic and all that. Yet I've got it on my face before and got the hugest rash from it. And that's the one that's really smelly that you've seen me use before I won't mention any names okay let's get on with our little dragon So wing doing here. Yeah. That's all right. It's good. I'm gonna get the rest of this sticker off. It's annoying me. So I'll make sure that is straight.
So the bottom, he had like grass and I sort of cut it off. I really didn't need to, but that's all right. We can work with that. It's fitting good. Oh, just got to fix up his little horn. It's just sort of curled under. Can't have that. He's curling up there nicely. You can always UV these in as well. But this little guy's behaving. He's playing the game. I'll babysit him for a while. There, old UV resin. again so I've just changed my mind again as I do I was um finishing off one of my other frogs and I was trying out this glitter that I found it's just a chameleon chunky glitter and it's quite pretty and so I just popped a um it's a drop of the Elmer's clear glue in it. So I've got some left over, so I'm just going to pour it in here. I decided. Why not? I was going to do a different colour, but I sort of had white originally in my mind. And then I was going to do a different coloured glitter, but I thought, oh, let's just go with white. Well, it's not really white. It's um really pretty. It sort of throws a bit of a you know, pinky orangey or... So yeah, I think I've lost the tail and my blue rocks went um, down behind it. But oh well, can't get it perfect every time. <laughs> It'll still look pretty cool, I reckon. Well, I hope so. I'm just going to let that level out and I'm just going to help his little twos. <laughs> I can find a dotting tool which I have and it's all this I think There goes my plug. Plus, this part of my table, for some reason, decided to go uneven again. It was level. Not sure what's going on there, but check it out.
Oh, I don't know if you can hear that music in the background. You know you get getting old when the people that have been partying for hours with the shite music and it's that loud that they're, you know, up on the next block and I'm here in my studio and I can hear it. I, don't, I wouldn't mind so much if it was something decent to listen to, but it's just, ah, oh, driving me nuts. I think, oh, my gosh, must be getting old, love. Because <laughs> things like that used to not worry me. Now I'm sounding like my mother. <laughs> oh, the joys. All right, guys, see you for demolding. He's ready to be demolded. Woohoo! Yeah. So I've already loosened him. Let's get our little plug out. A little bit of trimming to do, but not much. Okay, are we ready? Ta-da! Oh, look at him. Oh, he's cute. Oh, I love the rocks. And I'm glad I used the um, white glitter. Turned out pretty. He's pretty clear, isn't he? His eyes are good. Didn't get any bubbles this time, thank goodness. A few micro bubbles, but not sure what's going on there. But yeah, the little um, beads turned out nice too. As you know, we lose the facets, but we just wanted the colour. So that's an easy way to colour your toes and your fingers with the little um, beads. Oh, I can't think what they're called. They're not rondelles. What are they? <gasps> oh, typical mind blank because I'm videoing. <laughs> Let's put the light in. See how, how's the sticker? Yeah, see, I like the texture on it. I don't know if it's picking up the texture. But, yeah, he's super cute. A little dragon frog. Oh, pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. Or oh, what? Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. So, as always, all my pieces are available for sale on my website. So, go and check that out. Let me know in the comments what you think. If I should have done anything different, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And a big, huge thank you to my channel members. Love you guys. Stay tuned for the photos. Thanks heaps, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye.